Alright, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, K. Pollock, my name is Eminem John YDA, and I'm uh, doing this YouTube video response to the videos. Uh, what is a Salafi and Wahhabis? Who are they? Uh, originally, I was going to respond to this video by uh, with the idea that uh, use of Estes was uh, just ignorant and he didn't know what he was talking about but I thought his uh, intention was pure and that's how I was going to answer this video but then after uh, watching his video uh, or videos uh, I looked him up on Wikipedia and, and I had saw that he studied Arabic and Quranic studies in Egypt, Morocco and Turkey so then that led me to believe, wow, if he knows the Arabic language, then there's no way he could have possibly have said the ignorant and false statements that he said without him doing it on purpose. Because uh, the stuff that he said it could only be uh, uh, let go if somebody was completely ignorant and didn't know was what I thought was the case. Because he converted to Islam in 1991 and I converted in 97. So I was like, okay, he's a new Muslim, so he doesn't know any better. But that's obviously not the case. He, uh, the only, uh, everything made sense after I found out where he studied at. Because Turkey, even though I can't say it's the Sufi capital of the world, it, Islam was brought to the Turks by Sufism, by a Sufi. So therefore, uh, once they uh, had a, a caliphate in Turkey, then that's what, I guess, helped spread the cancer of uh, Sufism uh, throughout the body of the Muslim woman. So, therefore, one thing I want, the first thing I wanted to examine uh, for the sake of the new Muslims is why I'm filming this video. So, the first thing I wanted to focus on is... Uh, uh, his first statement, which was, uh, or rather the question of statement of what is a Salafi, and by saying this, I'm guessing the person, the questioner, I'm guessing he was more than likely somebody born Muslim, because it's fascinating that uh, at lectures by people like Yusuf Estes or Dr. Zakir Naik or back in the days, Ahmed Didat, uh, Rahim uh, was that you have people born Muslim who are asking basic Islamic questions which always blew my mind like how is this person born a Muslim and yet he is asking basic questions of somebody whose specialty isn't even uh, Islamic fit or understanding so first thing I wanted to examine was the question I asked how do you know a Salafi basically when you see one so, uh, my, my thing is, for if the questioner, there could have been one of two reasons why I asked that question. One may have been, uh, people have told them lies saying that Salafis are extremists, so you should avoid them. So, he was trying to ask, how do you know one when you see one so he can avoid them? Or two, he wanted to, uh, he had questions about them, so he wanted to identify one. So he could question him and learn more about uh, Salafism. So my way, so my, I guess the best way one to pick out first of all a male Salafi is of course the Salafis. Uh, their goal is to try to follow the the way of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So you'll find them uh, practicing the as soon as much as they can in their uh, outward appearance if, regardless of what outfit that they're wearing whether it be uh, 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 Middle Eastern clothing like a thobe or Asian clothing like a shawal kameez or whether it be uh, European style trousers you'll find them that that, that their, the trouser leg will be above the ankle or the thobe or a shawal kameez will be above the ankle and of course the Salafi is going to have a beard with you 
actually a trim mustache. Uh, so, in, in that physical, and then maybe in the Salah line, you'll find that when uh, the people rise up from Rukur, you'll find that the Salafi will be raising his hands like that before he puts it back on his chest on his side. Uh, and his fingers out through the remainder of at the childhood when he's praying and you'll notice everybody else only puts out their finger like maybe one time and you'll find the seller for his fingers out the entire time at the childhood and I guess amongst the female that are selfies you'll find that uh, they cover correctly which is in a minority because usually some people actually think that all the Muslim women is required to wear is a hair scarf. Among, um, not only amongst the disbelievers in Islam, but this is a belief amongst a lot of people who, women who call themselves Muslim. But actually, as Allah mentions in the Quran, he is obligated that the Muslim woman wear a kimar over her head, which is to cover her ears, her neck, and her bosom. And they're also to wear a chill bag, which is an outer covering, which goes over the other clothing, so that way the uh, shape can't be seen. Uh, and on top of that, usually a lot of them practice the covering of the mouth, which is called the niqab. They'll wear gloves. And uh, on top of that, and you'll find a lot of southern people doing that. Uh, and then I guess, uh, I guess. Uh, there's a way you can find out, I guess the best way really to find out if a person of a, is a Salafi or not is to ask the person, are you a Salafi? Or if you don't want to come out that bold and say, are you a Salafi? One way is you could ask them certain questions like, uh, there's a book written by this uh, Islamic scholar of the past, his name is Imam al-Babahari. He wrote the book Shah Fusun, or in English, his explanation of the creed. Uh, and in this book, he has 170 points, which a person who claims to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he must follow. And you can ask him any of these 170 questions in this book, and you'll find him answering, yes, this is what I believe in all of them, if he is really a celibate. And I guess another way also is to ask him, I would say, ask him, what does he say about this person if he likes him? But since in my 13 years of being a Muslim, it appears that once a person dies, uh, people say about him something that may not be true. And people who are devious may even like the person because they're like, uh, no, nah, he secretly didn't believe what he uh, spoke and wrote about. He just did it to impress these people over here, but he really believed how we believe, uh, even though it may be contrary to his rights. So you'll even find some people who are uh, Sufi who are saying, uh, yeah, I like uh, Muhammad Ibn Abdul Waha or Allah. You know, so the best way, I guess, to ask him without being bold about it ask him who he dislikes and if you ask him what do you say about the likes of say it quote them, or if you ask him what do you say about Dr. Yusuf al Dawi, or if you ask him about uh, what do you say about uh, the likes of uh, let me see like I guess uh, if you ask him about any Sufi or a Shia, then he's going to answer in the negative that he doesn't care for this person that he dislikes them or hates uh, these various people I just mentioned. And uh, the reason, like I said, that I'm make, uh, making this video response, like I said, is for the new Muslim because a new Muslim may be thinking, uh, uh, what does all of this stuff matter? You know, when you come in and you're just thinking, I want unity with the Muslim or why aren't the Muslims? United, 